All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and make the rest of the website responsive for mobile breakpoint. And this is gonna be quite long, I must say, because there is a lot of content that we gotta put. But I'm gonna be super fast and super quick, as fast as I can be, so that, you know, it's gonna work out. So first of all, let's start off by grabbing this. And obviously, we wanna make sure that ours is a little different than the tablet, because we got 20 pixels on the left and 20 pixels on the right. All right, and uh, first thing, obviously, I want to select the skill set section and uh, put that into a frame. So right click and choose frame selection and uh, control and alt to drag that sideways and uh, drag it up as well. So we've got like 64 pixels on the top. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, make this to be 48. All right, and obviously, we want the font size of this to be a bit smaller. So uh, we've got this which is 32 so I'm gonna make this also to be 32 and now we gotta go ahead and change stuff so I'm gonna set this to be 24 or 16 all right and we can select these four and we can set that to be 48 that should be totally fine right there we go so this is again gonna be uh, um, 32 pixels and we're gonna go ahead and set the width of this to be 320 all right, I'm gonna move this up like so, make sure that this is like eight pixels. All right, and then we can 48 add. This is pretty good. All right, then we've got this set of information. I'm gonna bring this in, and I'm gonna set the width of this, this to be 320, all right? Now, obviously, we can't have an image that is so huge. I'm gonna change the height of this to be 400 pixels. All right, I'm gonna set the distance over here to zero so that this fits, and then put this in the center. And I'm gonna have a distance of around um, 80 pixels over here, okay, and uh, this is gonna be 400, that's pretty cool. And so this, I'm gonna select this and bring this in until we get something that looks like this, where we want, basically we want 32 on the left and right, right, we've got 32 on the left, and we're gonna do the same thing over here, where I'm gonna grab this and make this also to be 32. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this multiple times. I want the distance to be around 48 pixels, 48, and then I'm gonna duplicate this again. And again, I'm gonna select all these, and I'm gonna say tidy up, and reduce this to be 48. And I'm gonna control Alt C, control Alt V, control Alt C, control Alt V, control Alt C, and control Alt V. And we can go ahead and delete this. So now this section is pretty much done. So I can select all these four, right click and choose frame selection and increase it like so. And uh, on the top as well, we wanna make sure that it touches the top edge. All right, there we go. So that's pretty much done. Um, the next is we've got this section, which is the same as this. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna bring this over here select these two and make sure that this is zero pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to be Instagram. Okay, and also the color, we're gonna add a violet color that we wanted. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this text. And I'm gonna come over here and paste that text. Oops. Copy that text and paste that over here. And I don't think I did that over here, right? Let me just go and check. So yeah, so we're gonna copy this and paste, right? There we go. And copy and paste, perfect. And uh, this is gonna be 16. And I'm gonna say, follow me on IG, right? There we go, and you can select this. All right, so that's done. Um, next up, we've got this dribble section. So I'm gonna bring that over here. And let's start off by selecting these dribble elements. I'm gonna bring this over here. And obviously we want this to be 20 pixels from the left. And uh, we want it to be 64 pixels from the top. I'm gonna select this and bring this inside. So this is gonna be 320. Select this and we're gonna make this 40. All right, and make sure this is 64 pixels from the top. Uh, and then we've got this image, right? So let's go ahead and bring this in. All right, and I wanted to have a space of 64 pixels from this as well, so 64. And uh, I'm gonna select this and move this 
inside and make this kind of like 320 pixels and do the same thing over here set this also to be 320 and obviously this kind of gets pixelated so i'm going to go back and choose fit and then i'm going to choose fill again and uh, we can keep it like this for now and that should be pretty much it so we can select delete anything else we can select these two right click and choose frame selection and move this sideways and move this like so all right great what have we got we've got the next section of the website which is this so let's duplicate this and bring this over here all right so i'm going to grab this section i'm going to bring that in this is going to be 55 uh 32 pixels i'm going to move these up to be 24 pixels all right i'm going to select this and uh, let's ungroup this for now I'm going to make this everything to be 320 pixels all right and yeah let's whoops All right, uh, there we go. We're gonna, I think we're gonna make the 16 pixels. And let's go ahead and increase this. And we can make these to 40 pixels. So yeah. Uh, all right. Make sure this is 20 pixels from the left. And you can set this to 320. And it's also to be 320. All right. Um, the next thing is these items are going to be over here. I'm going to move this inside and this is going to be 320 and let's center this. And we want the distance to be pretty much the same as this, which is around 64. So I'm going to set this also to be 64 pixels. And uh, I think this is looking pretty good already. Um, just make sure that nothing looks off, right? We can like group this and uh, we can make copies of this and I want to make this like 48 pixels and uh, let's go ahead and copy this text paste and copy this image and paste and it's going to be Emily Parker C company 2 48 all right copy paste and this is going to be Vincent Rudd, company number three. All right, it's so going to delete these two. And I think this is pretty much it. So we can go ahead and right click and choose frame selection. And just make sure that we touch the edges. And there we go. What else we got? We've got the tabs section. Let's go ahead and get the tabs. Start off by selecting each of these items. I'm going to bring that over here. And here, and this is going to be like 30, 32 pixels. And these two are going to be 24. These two are going to be 40. And obviously we want this to be over here. And I'm going to set this to be 40 and um, we want this to be 48. We want to structure these tabs is by let's actually ungroup these and we can take the India and the other one and bring it over here. Right. And what we can do is we can actually set all of these to be uh, vertical and uh, we can actually move these out. So we're going to add some math over here. So we're going to increase this. So basically what we want is the width to be 36. So we got 320. All right. And we're going to do minus 24. All right. That gives us 296. And we're going to divide this by two so that we get exactly half. And which is 148. So I'm going to select all these. And uh, I'm going to select this and set here to fixed width. And I'm going to say 148. Sorry, 148. And that's pretty much going to, oh, we got to add plus 12. So basically trying to split this in half and this is going to be 160. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to say 320 minus uh, divided by two. All right. And then I'm going to say minus 12, 12 is half of 24. All right. So that gives us 148. There's the same thing over here. When we said this. 
and I'm gonna set this also to be 148 sorry 148 and uh, we've got 24 pixel spacing over here select these two as well click over here to make it fixed width and set this to 148 and uh, we can set the distance to be 24 and we get ourselves a nice grid like this all right and then we've got these images all we have to do is just take these images one by one and just put them one below the other all right so we can select all these images and we could say distribute vertical spacing and we can set the width of all this to be 320 and we can set this to be 24 Control G to group them and let's bring them inside and we can probably add a distance of uh, what did we add over here it was around 40 so we can do 40 as well and yeah I think that looks pretty good last but not the least I mean we got we got the footer as well but we've got one more thing to do which is this so let's start off with this text over here oh uh, let's go ahead and first of all group all this and uh, right click and choose frame selection and we want to make sure that and also increase it on the top there we go so we've got the photography section done wow that's a lot uh, so let's go ahead and delete this and let's increase this and uh, let's go grab this text put this inside make this to be 32 pixels and uh, make sure this to be 320 this also to be 320 select so like these two and uh, reduce this to 16 pixels and let's make this 48 pixels from the top perfect and all we have to do is just select all these items bring them inside all right make sure the distance is 48 uh, left side is 20 we've got to just select each of these items and uh, move this inside so we've got 20 pixel spacing this also just move this inside and that's pretty much it right click and choose frame selection hold alter option to drag it and there we go fantastic now the last part is let's delete the frame the last part is the footer so how do we want to go about this i want to select all these elements kind of bring them inside over here so first of all we start off with uh, robin and this which is going to be uh, 48 pixels and then we're gonna go and move this 20 pixels to the left. All right, and then we've got some spacing over here, which is gonna be around 48 pixels again. And we're gonna move this to be 20 pixels over here. I'm gonna grab this section and kind of merge these two. And then we've got another one, which is this text, bring this over here. And there's also going to be 48 pixels. All right, make sure this is 320 pixels. And yeah, so we can go ahead and select all this, right click and choose frame selection. And then let's increase it on the top and the bottom. And we want to change the color of the frame to be this color. And this is pretty much how the mobile version is going to look. All right. And uh, let's close this up. And there we go. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, and this is how we make this for mobile breakpoint. And I'll see you guys in the next video.